How's it going? In this video, we're gonna talk about smart transformer breathers. We'll start with why a transformer breather is needed. We'll talk about traditional options, smart breathers, and then we'll take a closer look at the new Qualitrol smart transformer breather. So in a conservator style transformer, as the insulating oil heats and cools due to loading or ambient conditions, that oil also expands and contracts, causing a breathing function of the transformer. A breather or air dryer is needed to prevent moist air from entering the transformer and saturating the oil. Over time, the accumulation of this moisture in the transformer will negatively affect the overall life of the asset. The moisture can degrade the insulation properties of the oil, as well as the solid insulation on the windings, and this will limit the life of a transformer drastically over time. So traditional breathers are essentially just a container with silica gel desiccant that the air passes through as it enters the transformer. This desiccant changes colors as it becomes saturated, and once it's fully saturated, it needs to be either replaced or dried using external means, which is costly. It is very hard to determine when the desiccant becomes fully saturated, and if this maintenance step is missed, the breather is no longer drying the air entering the transformer. Smart breathers are very similar to a traditional breather in the sense that they both use a silica gel desiccant to dry the atmospheric air entering the transformer. But instead of needing to replace the desiccant when saturated, the breather will regenerate the silica gel so that it can keep absorbing the moisture. And this is a big point of a smart breather because the breather can do the regeneration of the silica and that eliminates the need to go to the field to replace that silica gel, reducing maintenance costs. So on the topic of smart breathers, Qualitrol is proud to be offering the first truly universal self-regenerating transformer breather. With this next generation of breathers, a single model can be used on either the main tank or load tap changer conservator. This is done by the breather's ability to sense and recognize the breathing cycle of the tank it is placed on. Our new breather is also fully configurable, so this means you can pick and choose the features that you need and want. Our breather operates on the principle of monitoring the saturation level of the desiccant. It also uses a pressure sensor to determine the best time to regenerate by tracking the transformer's exhale patterns. When the breather senses that the desiccant needs to be regenerated, it'll wait for an exhale cycle and it'll initiate the regeneration process during that cycle. A new feature that we added is that the breather can now regenerate on parts per million of moisture in the desiccant. Moisture PPM, parts per million, is a true measure of the amount of moisture in the air, or in our case, in the desiccant. As temperature changes, percent relative humidity can be a misleading indicator of true moisture level, especially in extreme climates. In addition to the PPM regeneration threshold, we have also added a new data logging feature to the breather. The data logging feature stores data for a minimum of 20 years and has an internal flash storage. The data logging values will be logged every 15 minutes and it'll record things like timestamp, humidity, temperature, the relay statuses, and PPM if you have that enabled. We also have a brand new software that you can use to configure the device and view the current status of the breather. It is really user friendly and makes it easy to set up in the field. So moving closer to our new transformer breather, a new feature that you can see is that we no longer have any external wiring. Internal wiring ensures fewer leak points through loose connections on the external cabling and also eliminates the risk of any unintentional damage to those external wires. Another new feature we have is that we move to a single side LED. Previously, we had three front facing LEDs with three different colors for different breather statuses. And now we have one single side LED that is either solid green in a normal state, blinking green in a regeneration state, or solid red in an error state. And the third physical feature is that we're moving to a glass tube as a standard. Previously we were polycarbonate standard, now we have the option of either glass or polycarbonate, with glass being the standard. So taking a closer look inside the new breather, uh, you can open the enclosure with four five millimeter hex screws on the enclosure cover. So we'll take a closer look at some of the wiring inside of here. As we spoke earlier, this is a model with the added communications and data logging feature. So we'll start up here on the right, on top side, you have your error status relay. Moving down, you have your regeneration status relay. This is the current loop output, so the four to 20 milliamp output for the relative humidity percentage of the desiccant. Moving down even further is the RS-485 communication port, and that's where the Modbus can be connected to. Along the bottom here, we have the power input, and then there are also three individual cable glands to run power separate from the relays, separate from the communications. On the board here, we have three little board LEDs for indicating the error status in more depth. It even indicates normal mode, so normal mode would be all of the LEDs off. On the board also is the added test button that we spoke of earlier. So if you're interested in preventing moisture from contaminating your transformer oil and reducing maintenance costs in the meantime, try out one of our smart transformer breathers. Feel free to reach out to one of our application engineers at info at and they'll be able to help you out. Thanks.